It's a rainy day out there today, Hajit. Look oh at yes, it, it is. It's, it's gotten cooler today. Okay, just nice. It meets the criteria of what we want to talk about today. And what is the topic for today? Before that, very important to introduce ourselves. Mm-hmm. We are on, on the, the run. run. Okay, so very important. <laughs> so yes, let's go back to the original topic. Okay. So it's a rainy weather. It's really chill. Mm-hmm. It's really calm. Mm-hmm. So our topic today is... Mindset reset, but I need to go through all my content first. Okay, you take your time while I talk to the listeners. Or do here. I need to make a reset in my mindset on Probably that? Probably you have to. So, how do we do our resets usually? Okay. How do we do it? Mm, I'm not too sure. Usually, uh, I'll take a break uh-huh. and you will take a walk. All right. Uh, during my break, I'll just shake a leg. Okay. And that's some kind of reset for me. I see. Mm-hmm. Okay, all mm-hmm. right, good. So let's share with our mm-hmm. viewers today mm-hmm. what are we talking about? Okay, today what we'll be talking about is mm-hmm. mindset reset. Okay. Then, of course, take control of your mental habits. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mental habits. Mm. What do you think it's all about, Adit? What is mental habits? Yeah, tell me about it. Well, first thing, mental habits are, are definitely some type of thought. Patterns, okay. Mm-hmm. Usually, top patterns are automatic, so we call it automatic top patterns. All right, mm-hmm. that um, of course, those are the things that um, shape how we perceive things mm-hmm. and how we um, react to certain situations. So, are you saying mental habits are thoughts that mm-hmm. come automatically mm-hmm. and unconsciously? I would say, if it's automatic, then probably is unconscious. So it just comes. It just comes. It comes naturally, Mm -hmm. like a natural reaction. And this is also something which is repeated behavior? If it's a habit, yes, it's a repeated behavior, definitely. Okay. Okay. So good to note that um, habits can be good, Mm -hmm. which is positive, Uh and it also can be bad and sometimes negative. So not saying that habits all are bad habits or not saying all habits are good habits, but there is always... How you perceive that particular habit from person to person. And how it serves you. Definitely. So, Mm -hmm. there is is positive habits, there's Mm -hmm. negative habits. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of these habits actually do impact our emotions, right? And the day-to-day work that we Mm. do. How we behave that means. All right, okay. So, hmm, Hajit. So, we are going to go into those habits which don't serve us well and how Mm. we can reset them. Reset them and probably we try to see how we can make a difference in those habits. Right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, very importantly, is that we'll be trying to understand right. to a certain level what uh, habits which we just mentioned earlier on. Okay. And like what Hajit mentioned mm-hmm. earlier on is how we can try to reshape okay. the particular habits mm-hmm. so that it helps with our overall well-being. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So... I think the first thing we could discuss about Mm. is I may have some mental habits which I may not be aware of. Mm. Oh, the key word is aware. Right. Mm -hmm. So how do I identify Mm -hmm. that this is a mental habit that I need to reset or reshape? Mm. So there are many ways to do it. Okay. I think the most important and the most common way is when somebody tells you about it. Ah, because we may not have that level of awareness. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so that may be our blind spot. Yeah. Okay. So when somebody tells you about it, then we become aware that we probably have that particular habit. Okay. So that could be the first one. Although we are talking about self-awareness, but we can get self-awareness from feedback, right? Sure. Mm-hmm. Sure. That's the number one. Uh-huh. Um, the other one is probably, um, which is all the trend now, is what we call mindfulness. Right. So we, we go through certain activities, we go through certain um, sessions with mm-hmm. professionals mm-hmm. that make us become more aware of possible habits that we might have, or sometimes even the top patterns. Right. Another buzzword these mm. days is journaling. Mm. Journaling is a tool. It's a tool. Mm. So is this also a tool that could help with, you know, getting an uh, an awareness mm. or identifying our mm. mindset? I think definitely because um, I think as, um, I mean, both of us are training counseling and we find that journaling do help. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, in some way, when you start writing and start reading through mm-hmm. what you've written, mm-hmm. we become aware of possible thought patterns sometimes. Right. Right. Mm, so it, it is a useful tool okay. to help us become more aware of what habits we might have. Okay. Mm-hmm. Great. Great. So, other than that, Hajit, what else do you think we can do to become more aware other than me telling you what habits you have, other than you writing it down? What do you think? Is there anything in particular? Um, I was thinking about self-reflection. self-reflection. Because many a times we experience, you know, someone giving us a feedback mm. or us, you know, just thinking, why did I say this? Mm. Or why did that person tell mm. this to me? After that particular incident, mm. if you could just pause and reflect on how did the whole scenario mm. take place? What was the flow? Mm-hmm. And what is it that I, as a person, repeat frequently? Mm-hmm. What is it that is a habit mm. that just automatically comes about? Okay. That could be one way to identify our you know, mental habits. Mm. But, Ajit, could you give me an example? How do you self-reflect before I tell you mine? How do I self-reflect? What, what would be the scenario or where would be a good place to do this self-reflection? Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, where would be a good place? I would actually do it anywhere. Mm-hmm. Slightly quieter. Mm-hmm. So probably not around me. Like it. Definitely not okay. around you okay. because you're going to be <laughs> chatting away <laughs> into, another, yeah, mm. into you know, another story mm. after story. <laughs> but I would do somewhere with, where it is quieter. Okay. Okay. I would do somewhere, even on my commute back, way okay. back home, okay. on my way back okay. home, so somewhere mm-hmm. quiet. Mm-hmm. And how would I do it? Um, my style is to go through the sequence of events mm-hmm. of that particular incident mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. to reflect, catch myself, where is it that um, I could bring about a tweak, a okay. shift? Okay. What would be your style? Well, uh, mine is almost similar to yours. I, I do do it when uh, on my commutes, on my public transport back home mm-hmm. um, or towards work. Mm-hmm. So that's where um, there are probably nobody that's talking to me. So I'll be in my own thoughts. Right. Uh, probably plug myself in to listen to some music, mm-hmm. usually coming music. Mm-hmm. Um, and I use those times to organize what uh, probably is going to happen for the day or what has already happened if I'm going back. Okay. And um, then I tell, ask myself, you know, is there other ways to manage certain situations or certain people, mm-hmm. in fact? Mm. Okay. While, while we're talking about uh, mental habits mm. that need to be reset, mm. uh, what crosses my mind mm. is, it may be helpful to give some examples to our viewers. Mm. What is it that we are talking about that we need to reset? Mm. So one of the examples I can give about mental habits mm. or the way thoughts come about mm. which need to be reset could be, Negative self-talk. Negative self-talk. So negative thought patterns or would I say uh, thought patterns? Mm-hmm. Uh, self-talk, yeah, mm-hmm. that's that's the self-talk. The same so an, an example would mm-hmm. be something like telling. So if I do a presentation mm-hmm. and I feel something didn't go well or mm-hmm. the feedback wasn't great from mm-hmm. the audience, mm-hmm. the self-talk that goes on in my mind, if it if it were to be something on terms of I'm not good enough. Not good enough, okay. That will be one of the uh, mental habits that need to be corrected. Mm-hmm. What to mm-hmm. I think the other one that happens quite a bit is something went wrong. Mm-hmm. It's not my fault. It's another person's fault. Right. Externalizing it. Right, right. Okay, right. so those, that, that could be also a negative um, thought pattern or negative self-talk. Men- mental you tell habits, yourself it's yeah. not your fault. Yeah. yeah, most of the time. So um, that could be one of the things that we want to challenge also, am I right to say that? Right, right, right. right. Mm-hmm. Another could be, which we've come across in the course of our work, mm-hmm. is being a perfectionist, mm-hmm. right? I do get a feeling sometimes, mm-hmm. you know, that kind of a thing, till before an assignment is completed mm-hmm. or till before, right till before a presentation is mm-hmm. going to happen, mm-hmm. the thought runs into my mind. Have, am I well prepared? Am I, okay? am I missing something? Am I missing something? Mm. Have I done and researched and put down all the content that needs to be put mm. on this PowerPoint slide, mm. for example? Mm. And I think that happens quite a bit with us, right? It does. So is it good mm. or is it not good? I'm Where not do we sure. stand with that? <laughs> I, think, I think to a certain extent, um, mm-hmm. it is good. Mm-hmm. Why? Because then we are more well prepared. I, right. I believe so, yes. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, what do you think for you? 
Um, I, I agree with you because most things that we do in our lives in terms of habits, behavior, thoughts, mm -hmm. when done within limits, within boundaries, mm -hmm. are generally okay, you know, if I make a very generalized statement, mm -hmm. uh, are serve us well. Okay. But when it goes to an extreme mm -hmm. of, you know, I get jittery before the presentation mm -hmm. that I'm not ready you know, in spite mm. of having done mm. the previous work. Mm. That is something which may need to be reset. Mm. Okay, so how do we reset then? Because once we become aware, mm -hmm. once we recognize or somebody else decided to tell us about it, right. how are we going to like challenge those thoughts, those behaviors, those self-talks? What do you recommend, Anjit? Okay, the very, very first step would be to identify what is that mental mm. habit okay. that needs to be reset. Okay. Right? Mm. What are your views on that? I think identifying is, is really important. If mm -hmm. possible, then at least we know what are we looking at or what, what are we going to be dealing with. That's right. very important. But sometimes it can be very hard because um, if we follow uh, cognitive behavior therapy, mm -hmm. there are so many different types of negative thought patterns. That's right. And it's not easy to identify them. So sometimes it's just about being able to recognize certain traits that we have. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, that would be a good start. What do you think, Hajit? Is yeah, that good yeah, enough? Small, small steps at a time mm -hmm. because uh, all of us are not mm -hmm. experts in this mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. But in order to you know, go on the path of self-development and self-improvement, mm -hmm. we take baby steps. Mm -hmm. We take tiny little steps to start it off first. So the first step would be identifying the mm -hmm. habits. Mm -hmm. And the next would be to, it, it could be different things for different people. Mm -hmm. But uh, since you've spoken about CBT, mm -hmm. I would also think about understanding the trigger for it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So knowing what props at you, knowing what are the things that make you go boom in the middle of the night. You know. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So each of us have triggers. Mm -hmm. And if we are a little more mindful and observant about our own thought patterns and behaviors, mm -hmm. we will hopefully be able to find out what is the trigger behind that mm -hmm. negative mm -hmm. thought pattern. Mm -hmm. Probably when you recognize the triggers, what you could do is in some way deal with the particular trigger in a certain way mm. could reduce it could mm. avoid it could mm. even say i want to challenge this trigger out front yeah so that means we could challenge it mm -hmm. up front challenge. uh this is something this would go something like everyone makes mistakes oh. i've made a mistake mm. this time around mm -hmm. uh there's something for me to learn mm -hmm. out of it mm -hmm. And let me learn what I can out of this incident and let's move forward. I like what you are saying, Ajit. I mean, not many people can take it in that they have made a mistake and they need to start doing something about it. Many often in times they say, I made a mistake, but it's not my mistake. Mm, they don't own it up. And then, then it's very hard to challenge it because you don't feel like you can do anything to change it. It's not within your own control in the first place. Yeah. And this is a very classic in a parent-child relationship mm -hmm, mm -hmm. where sometimes a child does not own up the mm -hmm. mistake, mm -hmm. you know, he or she has done or the thought pattern mm -hmm. that uh, that child mm -hmm. has. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is where we build up the awareness, mm -hmm. the mindfulness, mm -hmm. you know, if we want to use uh, that terminology and then uh, go head on to challenge it. Definitely. I think that would be a good start. It's a foundation mm -hmm. um, to start um, practicing certain skills on right. how we can challenge and how we can start changing or reframing those yes. thoughts. Absolutely. So mm -hmm. ch challenging is one way. Reframing is another. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. share, share with us a little more on reframing. Reframing is a basically, let's make it the most layman term. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So basically, what we're going to say is, if we identify the particular habit, Mm -hmm. And you want to reframe it is basically the most simplest way is we try to change that particular thought. That's the mm -hmm. most simplest way of putting it. Mm -hmm. Is that right, Ajit? Yeah, or, absolutely. Or is it too simple? Uh, it is simple, mm -hmm. understandable for mm -hmm. our viewers. And I will just add on to it. Mm -hmm. When we're trying to bring about a change, start small. Mm -hmm. I've tried that for myself mm, where mm, I tell mm. myself, okay, from mm. tomorrow onwards, mm. I'm going to get up at such and such time in the morning mm. and I'm going to go for a job. Mm. Sometimes it becomes uh, unachievable okay. just because of the fact that the change is so drastic. Okay. But many a times, if I've taken smaller steps, mm. 
So if I'm moving 15 minutes mm. earlier than today, mm. I wake up half an hour earlier, mm. you know, in the next mm. couple of days and so on. Those smaller changes, um, a, a goal of smaller changes mm. becomes easier and more achievable. Mm. For you. Okay. okay. Right? I understand. Mm. So, I mean, it sounds, okay, that's, that's one way of doing it. There, mm. my, my, probably my way of um, usually um, starting on challenging and reframing would probably be, I start questioning that particular thought mm-hmm. or that particular piece of statement that I have made to myself. I question whether is it really valid? Like, okay. like for instance, I'm a bad person. Am I really a bad person? Mm-hmm. Do mm-hmm. other people see me as a bad person? Mm-hmm. Um, what did I do that I became a bad person? So start questioning okay. about that. Or, so, or if for work is I'm not a competent person. Mm-hmm. Why? Right. How am I not competent? Okay. Okay. That mm. that's a great way. So, uh, what you're sharing about mm. is actual thoughts, mm-hmm. and what I was sharing mm. about was habits. Mm-hmm. So when we talk about a mental reset, it could be relating to both mm-hmm. those aspects. Mm-hmm. I think it can go both ways. Both ways. Both yeah. ways. Okay. Because yeah. one one probably one particular habit could affect a particular thought. Mm-hmm. One particular thought can probably affect a particular habit. Am I right to say a that? behavior mm-hmm. as well? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Then okay. of course, with all that thing, then we can start, like you say, take baby steps mm-hmm. to replace it right. slowly. Right. And those baby steps are also called micro habits. Micro habits. Okay. Yeah. So, ba- but when we say micro habits, we say baby steps. You want to make sure to know that with baby steps, we can sometimes also fall down. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then that's okay. Am I right to say that, Hajit? Is um, it okay? It is okay if we remain Mm -hmm. in that level of awareness Mm -hmm. where it could be a few steps back, Mm -hmm. but you do still stand up, Mm -hmm. pull pull up your socks, Mm -hmm. pull up Uh, your socks. My pants, not my socks. Okay. (laughs) And then uh, make an effort to move forward once Mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. I think that that's really important because we always want to try moving forward. True. Um, But occasionally, certain times we might fall back. But it is okay because it's part of learning. Yeah. And then we, we try to do things slightly more differently. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. absolutely. Mm. So after that reframing, after mm-hmm. that challenging, right? what's next? Um, additionally, mm. what is sometimes helpful mm. while we are trying to do a reset mm. of our mm-hmm. mindset mm-hmm. is to also have some sort of support around us, mm-hmm. if possible. So mm-hmm. do we have a social support around us? I think uh, sometimes for certain people, it, they really literally have to look around mm-hmm. because sometimes the support is not obvious. Yeah. Mm. It may not be there for some people yeah. Yeah, in terms of if you're staying on your own, mm. if everyone is too busy at home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then I think it would be a good idea to go out there and look for some professionals. To support you. I think that's, that's, that's also a good Absolutely. idea. A professional is a good idea. Mm. Another good idea could be a community or a circle of friends around mm. you mm. Uh, who are working towards the same objective. Mm-hmm. Like a support group? Yeah, right? okay. a support group. Okay, so a support group, if let's say there are not many people around that you, that you feel is supporting you mm-hmm. because they have similar goals, they're mm-hmm. probably more likely to work with you uh, or work together with you at a common goal. Right, mm. right. So what we are arriving at is there are still different ways of having that external support, mm-hmm. or the social support mm-hmm. around mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. while you're trying to bring about the change. Mm-hmm. I think the other one is very important is while we are supporting ourselves, while we're trying to join a group, mm-hmm. uh, we want to identify what type of habits. Absolutely. Absolutely. Are we going to work towards? Yeah. Because we yeah. can't be working at everything at one shot. Yes. We'll probably want to identify what we want to work towards. Yes, yes. We I think we did speak about that a few minutes back where we mm. were talking about identifying and then triggers that come up. I, I think... Mm, did we miss that? I, hopefully, I, I didn't miss that. But it's okay. Let's repeat okay. it. Okay. Although it might sound ne- be a bit naggy. But I think uh, it's good to always have some reminders for our listeners at times, yeah. okay? Absolutely. Mm. Mm. And so, uh, another uh, factor which could play an important role mm. is, so you have identified, you know what needs mm. to be done, mm. you probably have some social support around you. Mm. The next important question to ask yourself is, am I ready do I really want to bring about the change? Mm. Because while we evaluate, while we are doing mm. our reflection, mm. 
sometimes we know which is the area that needs to be tweaked mm. or repaired, mm. so to speak, okay. right? Okay. We know that area, mm. but the important question to ask ourselves is, are we ready? Am I motivated to bring it How do we change? know whether we're ready or not? I, most of the time, I'm not ready, to be fair. Sometimes, I, <laughs> when, I, when it's time for me to change, I don't feel that I'm ready. Although I know I need to change. So, what, what do you recommend, Hachi, from okay. your point of view? Once again, being, uh, you know, we, having a counselling background, uh, we do understand change only happens when intention is set. Okay, so it needs to be intentional. It needs to be intentional. Okay. Right? If it's just in my thoughts, I know it is important, but mm -hmm. I, that intention is not set yet. Mm -hmm. uh, that may not be the right time when the person may begin to act on the steps that are needed to bring about the change or okay. the set. Okay, so the intention is really important. Absolutely. It's part of the motivation, right? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. What, what are other things we could do then? Uh, similar to what we were mentioning previously, so you set an intention. Once you've set an intention, start small, break it up into various uh, mm. steps that you could do, uh, create a routine. Create a routine, practice it a bit more. Practice. Okay. So supposing it is about, you know, the thought that runs in my mind before mm -hmm. I, uh, I go for a board meeting, mm. for example. So create a routine of what you would do. Okay. The thoughts that you would have mm -hmm. in your mind mm -hmm. before you step into the boardroom. Mm, this is a good idea. Yeah. Maybe Can I will you... start doing that. Yeah. Although Can... I'm not in the board meeting. All right. <laughs> <laughs> not, yet. not yet. Maybe you would like to share another yeah. example of what what is a kind of routine one could make in terms of negative, you know. I think it's, it's the same as um, what you mentioned earlier was journaling. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. The other thing I would probably think about is quite popular is meditation. So, oh. it, I mean, you intentionally set space and time mm -hmm. for yourself to be in your own thoughts. Okay. Mm -hmm. What if I go into a loop of negative thoughts when I'm sitting and meditating? You're talking about rumination. Mm -hmm. What can we do? Mm, probably I'll take an ice pick. No. Okay, no. So, <laughs> I wish we could do that. Yes, and not some sense into myself, you know. With the, yeah, so what if we go into rumination? And actually, that's a very, very valid question. Mm -hmm. um, I do occasionally go into that rumination stage sometimes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, then actually, I, I would take a break, walk away, shake it, shake it. Like shake like it physically off. shake it off okay then come back again and probably in those times where i do that it feels a bit more better because i've just shake the thoughts away okay mm -hmm. right okay so how about you Haji? what would you do if you are ruminating or if you um, realize that you're ruminating see you've used the word realize you're ruminating mm. i think that's an important word mm -hmm. because while one sits to meditate and you get into that loop mm -hmm. That realization mm -hmm. or an awareness mm -hmm. is the step to pull yourself back into, mm -hmm. you know, the path that you want to take, mm -hmm. the reset that you have. Okay, made. okay. The realization right. is really, really so important. that realization or awareness is the one that brings you back. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. mm. But is there anything physical you can do? Um, mm. I do journaling to some extent. Okay. That is something, you know, we've spoken about mm -hmm. a few minutes yep. back, yep. but that is helpful. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think, I think for some people, we draw a table. Draw a table? Sometimes I sit down with my clients visual? in the bus, okay. make it visual, uh, draw on a whiteboard, draw on mm -hmm. a flip chart. Mm -hmm. Some even want colors or other people prefer to have stickers to identify certain top habits. Okay, that's going Very back good. to the childhood stickers. Stickers, yeah. Yeah, why I not? think nowadays, uh, yes, they have many different types Fancy of stickers. Ones, you yeah. can make custom ones. Of right. course, you don't have to spend too much money on that. But I mean, if that works for you, why not? Mm -hmm. Adding to what Sean was just mm -hmm. mentioning, while, you know, we talk about the ways we can bring reset our mindset, mm -hmm. there are certain thoughts for some people mm -hmm. which could actually go on a loop. Mm. Right? Yep. So keep trying. The tip is to keep trying. Mm. Mm. Habits are not changed overnight. Mm. It takes time. Mm -hmm. So keep trying. If you're able to just sit for a, for a short period of time, mm. put things in perspective, that's okay. Mm. 
Mm. Even if you're not able to put things on perspec in perspective, mm. it's a muscle to be built. Okay. okay. Right. So keep trying, putting it, put it in an effort, and you will slowly head in the right direction. But then again, um, we can always create a support group within Absolutely. our own community. Absolutely. So one of the things could be is if you are a viewer, if you are a listener, mm -hmm. put some comments there about certain ideas you might have, or if you need support from other viewers who are making comments in right. our video. I mean, I mean I, I'm mean, i pretty sure all our listeners and viewers are very nice people, huh? mm -hmm. more than ready to support each other a bit more. Right. Mm. So while we are talking about the support and, you know, the the comments that, that I our I viewers you're going to can mm. put, mm. the thought that also crosses mm. my mind is surround ourselves with positivity. Mm. So not just in terms of the people around okay. us, mm. but also in terms of behaviors mm -hmm. and also in terms of, you know what they say is, if you're feeling a little low, mm. put some upbeat music mm. okay. and it lifts your spirits. Mm. This one I agree because it works for me, I think. It does. It does work for me as well. Mm. Sometimes they say if you're a little low, even watch something, a comedy show probably. Mm. Watch a, yeah. I think... Mm. It really depends on what type of comedy. I yeah, think. it's one's choice. It's one's <laughs> choice, but it's it's about being in an environment okay. which brings about some positivity. Agreeable. Mm -hmm. right. Definitely. So the environment, the aura mm. would help with the with probably uh our, 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 how do I put it? I'm, I'm mumbling to myself. <laughs> okay, so probably with that mumbling, I will uh -huh. come to a, a thought which is surrounding ourselves with positive people, positive thoughts, positive mm. music, mm -hmm. positive um, weather. Mm -hmm. Some people like the sun, mm -hmm. you know, and that could probably help because it's warm and you start feeling warm about what has happened around you. Mm -hmm. Or some people like the cold, chill weather. It keeps up calm, mm -hmm. keeps us cool, slow our thoughts a little bit more. So mm -hmm. it really depends on what you prefer. There's no right. one way to do everything. Yeah. Some other tips again that I will just add in here quickly is mindful breathing. Mm -hmm. uh, we could also go into being compassionate with yourself. Is there such a thing called mindful eating, Ajit? Of course. Yeah, I do a lot courses, of mindful eating. Yes, you do? Do you? Yes. yes, I do a lot of mindful eating. So buffets usually avoid me. Mm. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, so the, these are some additional tips, uh, you know, how you could actually be in an environment or create mm. uh, the vibes around you for yourself mm. in order to, mm. you know, head on the path mm. of uh, mm. mental reset. Mm. So Definitely. it's also about gratitude okay. journals. It is about being compassionate mm -hmm. to yourself, mm. mindful breathing, resilience, you know, uh, being optimistic. Yeah. So many words out there. I mean, you Google it and you will find it definitely. Okay. Mm. Now that we've spoken about the various things we can do to, mm. to reset, mm. Mm. the next point is, if I have made a reset, mm. if I'm able to bring about some mm. little small changes mm. in the thought process mm. or my mental habits, mm. how do I sustain them? I'll get a buddy to remind me. Like you. But I'm not there with you all the time. Then you can always message me. I'm not awake all the time. Set an alarm for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I mean, that, that's one of the ways that uh, previously was taught. Um, um, they will get a, a partner who's more than willing to remind you, give a time. Yeah, it comes to the you mm -hmm. uh, So that, mm -hmm. then you're not all by yourself again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's one way you probably could sustain that change a bit more. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, the other way, I'll probably set up a monitoring system. How do you set up a monitoring okay, so, system? So, I mean, like I said, like uh, previous episodes that we were talking about digital devices, right. we can use our digital devices. We can use apps mm -hmm. out there to set reminders for ourselves or give us a prop as and when certain um, things happen along the line. Actually, that uh, gives me another idea. Mm. While we set reminders mm. on these apps, mm. there are also trackers available. Yeah, trackers. Right? I'm not going to tell you a brand. You want to know a brand? Sponsor us. Thank you. <laughs> so while we track, uh, while we reset mm. and set, you know, the reminders, we can track how we are doing on the path of mm. uh, resetting. Definitely. Definitely. I think well. I track myself doing exercises every day. Mm -hmm. And certain new watches, they actually... Uh, track um, if you have given yourself some time to 
calm down, relax, chill yeah. out. I came across this interesting app which uh, would give a notification mm. at the top of every hour. Mm -hmm. And the idea was when it gives a notification, you take just one minute out of your schedule for mindfulness. Yeah, so there are, there are devices to help you. Right. There are apps to help you. Mm -hmm. There are people to help you. What mm -hmm. else do you think we are missing here? Do we have anything mm. missing? What's Hopefully missing? not. What's missing? Missing. Mm. Missing some comments from our viewers, I think. Oh, I see, I see. Now I see where you're arriving at. Okay. Missing some likes from our viewers at the same time to tell okay. us if we are doing the right thing okay. or we are using the right topic. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, once we have uh, started bringing about the change, mm -hmm. include that in your routine. Mm. Make it a habit. And that is where you are able to, uh, you know, overcome the small little steps and challenges mm. and on you, you're on your way to achieving the bigger goals. Uh, so I, the I, final can, task. I can see there's a particular habit that you put in your routine mm -hmm. that could, that's always helpful. Mm -hmm. It's walking after lunch. Oh, yes. Mm. Yeah. So, it's become a habit. Yeah, so it helps you reset, you know. Maybe yeah. morning you're a bit more busy. Right. There's many things cluttered in your mind. Right. After food you're a bit more full. Uh -huh. Then you start walking it off. <laughs> walking it off, shaking it off. <laughs> shaking it off. Yes. Mm. Okay. Mm. So um, while we go through the whole process, mm. I will try to. I will. I will definitely want to re-emphasize: mm. be compassionate towards yeah. yourself, yeah. because many a times we are harsh. With ourselves, yeah. right? We are happy, so yes. self compassion is important, just like we would, uh, you know, suggest that to our friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, positive affirmation for mm -hmm. yourself mm -hmm. is also something you could include. Definitely, I think it's very good to to that to take note that we are nice to people around ourselves, mm -hmm. but we are not nice to our, our ourselves. In fact, sometimes uh, we so can just be very uh, harsh. just go go hard on ourselves that we can do better. Uh, we can do things differently. Why did I take note of it? Why did I not take oh, note? I'm going down that pathway. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. What What I'm going to do now is mm. I'm going to give you a few statements. Okay. Uh, kind of mental thoughts that run in mm -hmm. our mind. It could be a habit for some people. Mm -hmm. It could crop crop up at different mm. points of times mm. for different people. So I'm going to give you the statement, mm. and together we will come up with the reframing or the okay. a statement to shift. Hmm. the mental thought process. Okay, that's, right? that's so for, right. Yes, for the benefit of our viewers. Hmm. So if someone has a thought like, I always mess up things at work. Then how I reframe? Uh -huh. Do I always? <laughs> yeah. Do I always? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. And if it has happened at a particular time and you've been very harsh mm. with yourself, you could also say something like, and if the mistake has actually happened, you could say something like, what can I learn out of this mm. incident? What can I try to do differently next time? The next time around. Mm. Absolutely. Okay, mm. that was statement one. Mm -hmm. Statement two is, there is a heated con conversation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I begin to get very angry. Mm. Right? Mm. So, what do I do here? So there's a level of awareness because uh, I know I'm only angry. beginning to, yeah, mm. I know I'm beginning to get angry, mm -hmm. right? So this is before the explosion happens. Okay. What is the mental shift that we can introduce mm. at this point of time? Probably I would think to myself, is being angry going to be helpful for this situation? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. can I have some space to calm myself down first? Absolutely. Absolutely. And especially when it's anger, mm -hmm. that pause and breathe mm. helps uh, like now uh -huh. i'm gonna pause take a deep breath okay <laughs> i'm back here now I'm i look different here. right am i right to say that and uh, re-energized <laughs> and, and I, I mean what i'm showing here is that it's okay to sometimes walk away yeah. but of and course you need break. to let you know the, the person that you're talking to or interacting with know that you are going to walk away yeah mm, and that helps it to be polite to mm. the person you're talking to, but simultaneously breaking that cycle of being angry. Yes. Okay. Third scenario. There are some some of the people who are like, I have to do this. Do I really have to do it? Absolutely. Is it only me? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So it's the word have to, mm. must, mm. should. This is the end of the vocabulary mm. of some of the people. Mm. 
right? And I should have done this. Yes, mm. should. So what are some alternatives for mm. our viewers? Mm. Let me think about this. Should. Mm. Because in our counselling, uh, you know, if there are counsellors mm. who are viewers here, uh, we are wary of the word should. Should, yeah. Right? It could be the intensity of that statement could be reduced by using alternatives mm. to mm. it, right? Other than should. What? I can do it. I, I get to do it. Mm, I get to do it. Yeah. I will probably do it. <laughs> yeah, depending, depending. Depending. I mean, the words, uh, what type of words you use is not really uh, the most important ones. Right. But the important thing is you readjust, you reframe that particular verbal thought. Right. Okay, we go to the next one. So, for some, the thoughts that run in the mind when they get, go on to do mm. a project, mm. it could be anything. Mm. any sort of project, mm. professional or work-wise. Mm. Thoughts like everything will go wrong. Mm. Everything will go wrong? Is that really going to be everything will go wrong? Mm -hmm. Why don't we try doing it first? How about mm -hmm. that? that? That's uh, a very, bringing the positive mm. thinking mm. within mm. it, right? Mm. And how would you phrase it for a client? Would you, would you have any other? Everything is going to go wrong. Mm -hmm. mm, um, what is everything? Mm -hmm. Think maybe I'll probably get the client to, to list out. What do you mean by everything? Okay. So while mm. Sean shares that, that means the person can self reflect. Mm -hmm. right. right. List it out. What, what could go wrong? And um, then we want to, want to go through that each individual scenario that things mm -hmm. could go wrong. Is, is it true? How can mm -hmm. it go wrong? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a, a very detailed process. Right. It could be, or it can be a very simple one. Yeah. So just to add to what Sean has mm. just mentioned is when we look at the whole of a particular project mm. or a task that mm. needs to mm. be done, mm. sometimes it may be daunting for people mm. the way you mm. interpret, mm. the way you look at a particular mm. project. Mm. So breaking it down into smaller parts can give you some peace of mind. Mm. You, might, you might look at what you're writing and then suddenly you realize, hey, no, I'm not true. Mm. Um, this one doesn't seem like would go wrong mm -hmm. and then it's no longer everything yeah. out of 10 you spot one is no longer everything anymore right mm. now that we've spoken about different uh you know strategies mm. we've mm. also spoken about you know some examples mm. the mm. kind of mental thoughts that mm. run mm. um if one were to recalibrate and mm. bring about these mm. changes mm. how is it going to help them i think that with with um we are talking about the benefits, so with recalibrating, with resetting all this, mm -hmm. I think it definitely, definitely would help with your mental health. Uh -huh. I think it's all the top, all the rich now. We we want to improve our mental state. Mm -hmm. We want to improve our well being. Right. So doing this could improve our mental health, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, probably you help to also enhance mm -hmm. our relationship with other people. Absolutely. Okay, because then probably the way we talk or the way you perceive things might be different mm -hmm. and people will see you differently also. Mm -hmm. The other one is could be um, you would uh, lead to a different type of quality of life. Okay, mm. Q-O-L. Mm. Okay, mm. alright. What's a Q-O-L? Quality of life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So, mm. so what I'm hearing from Sean mm. and what I would like to add on here mm. is these small, tiny changes that we bring about, it actually has a ripple effect. Yeah, we slowly, slowly it changes everything. But of course, slowly. Lah. Yeah, mm -hmm. we take one step at a time. Mm -hmm. And it could, uh, it definitely brings about changes in your own thought process, mm -hmm. your own behavior, mm -hmm. your habits. Mm -hmm. Definitely, that's why I mentioned quality of life because it will indirectly aff affect your behavior, affect your thoughts, affect your emotions or so. Right. Mm. And it also positively influences interaction with mm. others. Mm. Yeah, probably you can affect other people to make changes as well. So. Yeah, yeah, that'll that'll mm. really, you know, going that extra mm. uh, extra mile of uh, positive changes mm. in yourself mm. and positive changes in others around. For you. us to model for other people to see. I think we can be yeah. the advocate for change. Wow. 
those are big words. Hopefully those are words <laughs> I can do. <laughs> those are big words. It would also increase your productivity, mm -hmm. the work that you're doing, mm -hmm. your relationships like Sean has mentioned, mm -hmm. your own health, depending on you know the areas that you're working I think on. one important one would also be stress management. We'll be mm -hmm. able to manage stress much better if we have more healthy habits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, how about self-esteem? I think I'll definitely feel better about myself <laughs> if I'm not the one that constantly uh, explodes at everything. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So All definitely. Right. Great. So um, as we come to the stage where we have shared about what are, what are mental habits, um, how do we identify them? We become we aware of them. Awareness, mm -hmm. absolutely. Uh, what? How do you break a mental mm -hmm. habit? How to challenge it? How do you reframe it? Okay, mm -hmm. and how can you sustain the change mm -hmm. as well? Mm -hmm. So we've spoken about different uh, aspects of mental habits and mm -hmm. resetting them. So at this point of time, take a moment, either write it down on a sheet of paper or your notes, mm -hmm. or in the comments. Mm -hmm. What is one step you want to take today to bring about the change? Just one step. Just one yeah. simple small step. Yeah, I need to highlight just one step because most of the time when I talk to my clients, I ask for five rules, they'll give me ten. So let's stick to that one step that you want to take. Yeah. So micro habits, there, there's a book on micro habits mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So go and atomic habits, I think it's called. Okay. So read. go and read the book. There are plenty of resources online as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. And uh, any last thoughts before we end the session? Any last thoughts? I think the most important thoughts is don't forget to subscribe to our channel. <laughs> subscribe to our channel. We bring about topics which are of interest to a common man out there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We put in our own experiences based on our lives mm -hmm. and the clients we've spoken to as well. Exactly. So if you but if you feel that our videos or our audios are a bit um, surface level or a bit short, feel free to let us know and we'll be more than happy to make more detailed content for our viewers. And if you find the content is absolutely right for you with tips that you can apply, mm. please share these with others as well. And give a like, all right? Not, right. not, not down, but up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> give a like. And so on that note, mm -hmm. then we probably can tell our viewers that it's our end of our video. <laughs> yeah. So on that note, we will end this particular session hoping mm. and wishing that you go ahead, mm. do a mental reset on the particular habit that you're going to work on mm. and continue to be on, on the, the run. run. On, the <laughs> run. <laughs> on the run. So till next time, we'll Thank see you. you in the next session. Okay. Bye-bye.